ITBC what's the deal so I came out with a video yesterday talking about this Joseph Parker is going to be fighting uh, Solomon Huamano um, they had the press conference and you know I know a lot of fans are not happy about this particular fight they want to see Parker fight uh, Kirbat Pulev or Brian Jennings or any other um, top level heavyweight some people feel as if hey you just beat Carlos Takam why take a step backwards we know that he's trying to preserve his uh, number one ranking for the IBF and get his title shot so I, I don't really expect him to take a super 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 tough challenge but I do expect him to take somebody that is at least ranked um, by one of the sanctioned bodies and he's doing that so I'll give him credit for that but you got to give this kid credit man and I'm sure this has happened before I just can't recall right off the top of my head these little type of stats but I mean you guys man literally the dude just fought on Saturday he is already announcing his next fight with the opponent in front of him at a press conference two days later. He didn't just fight, you know, he didn't just beat uh, Ivica Perkovic, no disrespect to him, or he didn't just beat Paul Butlin, and then now two days later he's announcing the next fight. I mean, he just beat Carlos Taco, man. And then he's announcing his next fight against Solomon Hu Huamano literally two days later. You got to give, I mean, you got to applaud this young cat, man. So I, I give him a lot of credit for that. Huamano is rated number 12 by the WBA. Um, so like I said yesterday, New Zealand, Australia, I mean, that whole little region, it, the fight's going to sell there. You know, so let me go ahead and read some quotes from this presser. Um, Huamano goes on to say, I've already got one of his belts. Um, the WBA stripped Parker of the PABA belt late last year for refusing to fight Huamano. Then he goes on to say, I'm sorry to say with one punch, I can take away his dream. All right. Joseph Parker goes on to say, I have been to Christ Church many times to, pro to promote my fights. I've always felt we get the strongest support there compared to any other part of the country. And that includes Uckland. All right. I owe it to Kev to fight in his hometown because I don't think there will be a chance to fight there in the future. All right, and there's some quotes by uh, Kevin Barry and so on and so forth. But um, a lot of people saying, you know, this is a step down. Uh, a lot of people feel as if there's nobody else for him to fight. Oh, no, there's a lot of people for Parker to fight. I'm just commending him because this would have looked, in my opinion, if Parker would have let three months go by and then announced a fight against Huamano, a lot of fans would have been like, dude, you could have fought Huamano a month ago or something like that but the fact that he's doing this two days after he just fought carlos taco man like what heavyweight is really doing that he went 12 rounds not like he went in there with to come and beat him in one round and then he's getting right back in there because he really didn't get no work i mean he just went through a full training camp he came in excellent shape i believe he was his lowest weight for i think the last two years or something um came in excellent shape he went a full 12 rounds and now he already has scheduled a fight for July 21st. You know, so I don't know, man. It's just my opinion on it. Some of you may feel as if, oh, this is nothing. I've seen other fighters do this. And like I said, this probably has happened a lot of times. I just can't think right at the top of my head right now when the last time I've seen somebody go through a tough fight like that and then literally two days after that announce a press conference for another fight. If you guys do remember one of those situations, please leave it in the description or in my... Uh, in the comments section maybe i'm just having a brain freeze right now where i can't remember but props to the young man you know and again he is fighting somebody that is ranked by the sanctioning body so you got to give him credit for that i'm not saying that everybody that's ranked is a world beater i'm not saying that but the fact that he is rated by one of the sanctioning bodies and he's announcing the fight two days after he just fought y'all come on get the man get 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 a young boy some credit man now is this the opponent we all want to see no so i expect him to go in there and take care of business this was a fight that was supposed to happen before, you know, Parker team refused to fight him. They stripped him of the PABA title. So there is some history there. I expect Joseph Parker to take care of business. You know what I mean? But who am I? No, I believe this is his last. This is his last chance, man. I know he knocked out. Uh, who did he knock out? Uh, Kayatoro Fujimoto. I remember that fight. He knocked him out. You know, but I think this is his last chance, man. He wants to make a name for himself. He's going to have to do it off the back of Joseph Parker. And it's going to happen July 21st. So we'll we'll see what happens. I'm just getting this out there. I know I spoke on it yesterday. I just seen some press conference stuff this morning. And I was just looking at just the dynamics of this kid just fought. He just fought, y'all. And he's back in a 
front of another press conference with no marks on his face, ready to go and get it in again. Kudos to the young fella. YTBC, I'm out.